If you want to find out the finest infidelity and extramarital relationships, you should surely watch our recommendations for the best ones from 1980s. I was in town. I was working. You were with your lady friend. My what? Lady friend! Number five, The Unbearable Lightness of Being, directed by Philip Kaufman, is an evocative adaptation of Milan Kundera's acclaimed novel. This cinematic masterpiece offers a poignant reflection on the complexities of human relationships. The story follows Tomas, a charismatic and womanizing surgeon in Czechoslovakia. Tomas lives a hedonistic life engaging in numerous affairs, including a passionate liaison with Sabina, a free-spirited artist. Despite his numerous dalliances, Thomas's life takes a significant turn when he meets Teresa, a gentle and introspective young woman who falls deeply in love with him, and they marry. But their relationship is constantly tested by Thomas's unrelenting infidelity. Teresa, what are you talking about? I know you see other women. I know it. You can't hide it from me. Number four, The Postman Always Rings Twice, a steamy tale of passion and betrayal, directed by Bob Rafelson and based on James M. Cain's classic novel, is a gripping noir thriller that delves deep into the murky waters of infidelity, lust, and murder. Starring Jack Nicholson and Jessica Lange, the film tells a story of forbidden love and the catastrophic consequences that follow. Jack Nicholson plays Frank Chambers, a drifter who finds himself at a rural diner and auto repair shop owned by the older, unassuming assuming Nick Papadakis. There, Frank meets Nick's alluring and unhappily married wife, Cora. The chemistry between Frank and Cora is immediate and electric, leading to a torrid and illicit affair. It's just you and me. What are you talking about? I'm tired of what's right and wrong. Number three, Shoot the Moon, is a 1982 drama film directed by Alan Parker, starring Albert Finney and Diane Keaton. The film revolves around the disintegration of a marriage and the emotional turmoil that ensues. Finney plays George Dunlap, a successful writer, and Keaton portrays Faith Dunlap, his wife. The story focuses on their complex relationship, the impact of George's infidelity, and the effect on their four daughters. The film is noted for its raw emotional performances and its portrayal of the difficulties in maintaining personal relationships amidst personal and professional struggles. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the night before last, George. I was in town. I was working. You were with your lady friend. My what? Number two, Body Heat, a sultry noir of passion and betrayal, directed by Lawrence Kasdan, is a steamy neo-noir thriller that sizzles with lust, intrigue, and deadly deception, starring William Hurt and Kathleen Turner. This film captures the essence of classic noir with a modern, seductive twist. William Hurt stars as Ned Racine, a charming but somewhat inept lawyer in a small Florida town. During a sweltering heat wave, Ned meets the alluring Maddie Walker and is immediately captivated by her beauty and enigmatic presence. Despite Maddie being married to the wealthy but shady Edmund Walker, she and Ned embark on a torrid affair. I'm a married woman. Meaning what? Meaning I'm not looking for company. And you should have said I'm a happily married woman. That's my business. And number one, Sea of Love, A Dance of Desire and Deception, directed by Harold Becker, is a gripping thriller that intertwines passion, suspense, and the dangerous allure of infidelity. Featuring powerful performances by Al Pacino and Ellen Barkin, this film explores the fine line between love and danger. Al Pacino stars as Frank Keller, a weary alcoholic New York City detective nearing the end of his career. Frank is drawn into a complex investigation when a series of men are found murdered after responding to personal ads in the Lonely Hearts columns of a newspaper. As Frank delves deeper into the case, he encounters Helen Kruger, a sultry and enigmatic woman who becomes the prime suspect in the murders. Come over to my house tonight for dinner and uh, we can talk about it. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Movie Soul.